Here are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, 18th of March, 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. We begin with politics and 2023 elections. Oyo's APC candidate Teslim Folari escapes assassination. Desmond Elias condemns senseless attack on Labour Party opponents in Lagos. Threats ahead of Saturday polls are worrisome, says General Abdul Salami. We are investigating Oluomo, Lagos State Commissioner of Police says. Imo's ex-deputy governor regains freedom after nine days in prison. We will treat troublemakers as Oyo State enemy, says Sheyi Makinde. Oro right, some will look cautious traditionalist ahead of polls. Don't turn polling units to danger zones, PWD Foundation warns Nigerians. Vote buying, EFCC deploys 150 operatives in Kano and other parts of the country. Moving to national news, Amotekon on NAPS tips who stole Ogun State General Hospital equipment. Shite members clash with El Rufai's convoy. NJC recommends retirement of Taraba Chief Judge. U.S. releases $150 million to Nigeria and other African countries to fight hunger. Federal government to install 3 billion Naira power substation in Kwara State. Moving to business news, manufacturers allege 25% sales drop over cash crunch. Fuel consumption eats 80 million liters daily as subsidy skyrockets. In technology news, MTN Nigeria proposes merger of Momo and Digital Financial Services. New Zealand to ban TikTok from lawmakers' devices. In entertainment news, you inspire me, Rema tells Iranian girls arrested for dancing to calm down. In international news, ICC issues arrest warrant for Putin. US agrees to sell 220 Tomahawks missiles to Australia. Turkey agrees to start process for Finland's NATO membership, Erdogan says. And lastly, in sport, Ronaldo included in Portugal squad for Euro qualifiers. Crystal Palace sack manager Patrick Vieira. UFC, Kamaru Usman says he's confident of victory over Edwards this coming match. Get details of this news and more on our website tomorrow at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspapers from your closest newsstands. Do not forget to follow us on social media at Guardian Nigeria across our social media pages. I am Lois Oguni. Good night.